Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Mountain Blade Warband, a Clash of Kings mod let's play. So, in the previous episode, where we had left off, um, we had taken Castle Kerwin. However, um, at the end of the episode, let's see, the Dreadfort had come under siege and been taken from us. I've taken that back, and then the person who had taken the Dreadfort had rode down to Widow's Watch and was attempting to besiege that as well, I've defeated them, and so there should be no further interruptions as we continue our conquest of the north, and we only have two castles left to take, one of them, of course, being Winterfell, and the other being Bear Island. Now, Bear Island should offer very little resistance because the Mormonts have already joined us, so it's just a matter of rooting out any Bolton loyalists still holding the, uh, the castle there. In Winterfell, oh, where is Winterfell? We are, of course, going to be meeting the entirety of the Bolton's strength, at least what they have left. And it looks like Lord Roos is there as well. So he's got 51 men with him and uh, 163 in the garrison. We do outnumber that force with our army alone, so we should be fine there. Um, with that said, after this episode, um, we are going to end Season 1 and take a little bit of a break, as I've mentioned before. Um, I'm going to attempt to rebuild this playthrough from a new save, uh, hopefully getting around the no faction bug that we've been dealing with and uh, sort of restabilizing the game because of all the changes I've made to the mod in this particular save. Uh, the stability is not great, as you might well imagine. So we're going to fix that. We're going to come back. I will attempt to cheat in our progress. Um, if I'm not able to cheat it all back, uh, I might have to spend some time actually playing to get it back. In which case, uh, this second season might take a little bit longer to get to, but um, we'll come back with the North Conquered as it is right now. And um, we will attempt to beat back the Westerlands and the Iron Islands at the beginning of that season. Because obviously, we owe a debt to the Manderlees for joining us and so obviously we're gonna push the Lannisters out of there and then our uh, once allies the Riverlands have been basically completely defeated and so we need to reclaim the Riverlands for them and if there's none of them left then we will uh, hold the, the Riverlands ourselves and ask the former Riverlands Lords to join us in our cause from there obviously we're gonna try to you know deal with the Iron Islands we'll take Barrowton and then we will uh, meet them at their turf and see how they like it and then I think we'll probably push down into the western lands and the crown lands and see what kind of headway we can make down there so anywho with that said let's go ahead and get started we'll begin with the siege of Winterfell and while I'm doing that I would just like to remind you guys to hit that like button if you are enjoying this playthrough and you would like to see more Clash of Kings and don't forget to subscribe as well it's the best way to help the channel grow and the best way to follow along with this playthrough as it continues and catch up on Season 2 when that comes out. Alright, so we are ready to begin the siege. Luckily, this is, I believe, ladders and not siege towers, so this should go much, much more smoothly than it normally would otherwise. I guess let's just jump right in. We do outnumber them pretty considerably here, so as long as we play this relatively smart, should be no issue. Um, and we can be a little bit a little bit aggressive with our men as well because um, with this sort of winding down th the end of our conquest of the north if we take some heavy losses here we will have plenty of time of course to build them back up okay so where to set up let's see everybody hold there yeah move 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 I think we're gonna Wow, this is like a giant mob. Um, we'll put the archers right here, I think. And then, let's see. Cavalry, I want you up against the wall there. Infantry, why don't you go over here? Let's see, where are my pikemen? Ah, there you are. Why don't you go over there as well? Um, who is running in? That looks like infantry. Yeah. 
Where are you guys going? Okay, infantry, do me a favor, stand over here. I don't know that we're going to have much luck over here, though. This angle is not great. Ah, oh, well. Oh, one of my axe throwers got somebody. Okay. I think we should probably move the archers over here. Because this is going to allow us a much better angle of fire on them. So archers, start moving this way. In fact... Oh, that's the edge of the map. Never mind. I thought we could use that little uh, hill as defilade. But no. So archers, just come stand over here. That should allow you to fire directly into the walls. I guess we'll start sending in... Oh, my axe thrower was killed. Let's see. Infantry go. Pikemen go. Um, I'll send the cavalry last because they are, of course, my most valuable units. Ouch. How much damage did I do? Only 14? That is so pathetic. Um, there. I need to get up in here and help these guys because they're going to get slaughtered if they're fighting all alone. So I'll join in. I'll probably eat a bunch of arrows from those guys, but I've got a pretty good shield. I think I'll be okay. Oh, my guy's already dead. Wish I had a longer sword. That is another thing that I'll do between seasons, is I'm going to craft a Valyrian Steel Sword for the Raven Trees. Uh, it is unique to the dark character. There's Roos right there. Come on, take him out. Take him out. If he goes down, their morale's going to fall here. I can beat the hell up. Oh, I got him. Push through, push through. There we go. I'm gonna go this way first. Clear these guys out. That will allow a much easier approach for the rest of our men. In fact, I'm gonna send the cavalry in now. Oh, you really got me there. Ouch. Stop shooting me. Fight me like a man. I thought you were dead. Come here. Okay. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Gotcha. Okay. Let's see. Who hasn't charged yet? At this point, everybody get in here. Alright. Uh, can't go that way. Is there anybody this way? Yes, there is. Ouch. Oh, that's that's not good. I want to go after them, but they are going to really threaten my position there. So I'll have to go this way. Wow, we are taking a lot of losses, aren't we? Come on, then. Okay. Pass them. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, wow. So there's a moat in between the walls, okay. Interesting. Please don't shoot me. Oops. Oh, he hit me, but he didn't actually do any damage. Oh, he did there. Come on, get rid of him. Oh no! We took a wound. We might have to back out here. Okay, so I've backed out. Let's see what our losses look like. 22 killed, 19 wounded. Um... I did update the wound counter to reflect the wound that we just took, and wow, did we get hit hard there. Um, we're only about halfway through the enemy's men, so that's kind of a shame. Um, we're going to have to attempt this again, obviously. I will probably roll with Garrett Longley this time since, uh, since Lord Raventree is wounded, so let's prepare the ladders once again, and this should be the final push. All right, so let's change our commander, and we will, of course, go with Garrett Longley and lead our soldiers in the assault. This uh, this map is pretty challenging. Um, I'm 
really surprised at the complexity of the uh, map. Because we have to go through these outer walls and then we basically have to breach the inner walls. And obviously we're getting just completely pelted with arrows the entire time. As you saw there, I took a lot of damage to the various archers that were set up all over the place. And I couldn't really do a lot to engage them because there's so many different places where they're set up that attacking one exposed me to the other. And that was ultimately what, you know, caused me to take so much damage. Come on, kill him. Nice. Let's see if I can't headshot that guy. Oh, I hit him. I just didn't kill him. There we go. Who is charging in right now? I'm pretty sure I told everybody to stand down. Must be the infantry getting kind of caught up on whatever. Let's see. Cavalry. Go over there then. Ouch. I got somebody. That guy looks like he's aiming at me. Come on. Oh, I hit something. Okay. I might send the infantry in here. Just because they do have so many archers that it's going to take us forever to get through them this way. Obviously, this is the safer way to do it, but even still, we are taking a lot of hits. Oh, somebody got him. Nice. Come on, get him. Garrett's accuracy seems like it's fallen off a bit. It could just be the range, but it seems like he was more accurate before. Okay, infantry go, pikemen go. I'll send the cavalry in last again. Um... I just, I don't want to take a bunch of losses with them. Like, with the infantry, it's kind of unavoidable, but with cavalry, they're obviously a lot more valu valuable to me as um, mounted units in uh, open field battles, whereas here, they're going to be a lot less effective. And so, god, I can't hit anything. I think they're coming in low. Well, that hit. We're taking so many losses, though, and I'm out of arrows now. Alright, let's go collect some. Oh, piercing arrow, nice. Okay. I wonder if we could enter that way. That would be kind of cool. If there was, like, multiple ways to sneak in there. Wow, that was way off. I'll take it. And I'm out again. Let's see, we'll grab up some of these. Are my archers out of arrows as well? They seem to have quieted, so maybe... No, they're still shooting. Wow, right over his shoulder. Okay. Uh, I need another arrow. Give me those. And... Got him, okay. I think there's more guys on this side, so we'll have to uh, keep an eye out for that as well. Obviously, I'm going to do my best to protect the melee units, since I am not going to be that effective in melee myself. Garrett actually does have pretty high one-handed skill. He's just not that well armored, so I can't take the amount of hits that I could as, you know, Rook. So, let's see. Cavalry, go ahead and join the fight. Um, I just watched one of my own guys get dropped right there. Let's see. Somebody's shooting from up above. Ah, okay. Well then. Come on. Take him out. Well, there's a shield anyways. Somebody go get him. Okay, well, I guess I'll kill these guys. Come on. I need those headshots. I don't have enough arrows to keep missing. Well, there's one guy. Maybe I can loot some off the ground over here. There was archers guarding this area. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give 
damn it. Got it. Okay. Any more arrows? Ooh, nice. Steel arrows. Even better. Only a couple, though. And I missed. Okay. Who else can I take out? Well, I can take him. And are you the last one over there? Shoot. Okay, well, I should be able to get him with this one. Alright. Uh, let's see. Everybody charge if you haven't charged already. Archers, that means you too. Okay, I need more arrows. Give me all of these. Maybe I should have retreated the archers. I don't know. Let's see. Archers, movement, retreat. Yeah, you guys leave. Give me some fresh units. I don't want you all getting killed, especially my Riverlands Longbowmen that I'm going to try to replace very soon. That's another th good thing about doing like a, a southern campaign is that, um, wow, they're not retreating. Okay. Is that we'll be able to recruit uh, Riverlands units again. Although we will be facing against them as well, so I do need to be careful about that. Because obviously the Freys all joined um, the Westerlands, and so the Westerlands are fielding Riverlands units. Okay, I'm out of arrows again. Let's grab all of these. Garrett is just so damn effective. Oh, you guys are stuck. Damn it. Let's see, last guy. I'm sure they have plenty of other men still, but he was the last one outside the, the inner wall. Come on, give me that. Okay, where can I be most effective? Maybe over here? Oh, there's still archers over here. Ouch. Oh, damn. Hoo -hoo. I barely ducked out of the way of that. Okay. Give me all of these arrows. Got one. Two. I know there's a guy right there, but I can't see him. There he is. Okay, hit him. I gotta watch out. Any any damage at all will put me down at this point. Okay, is that everybody? Sure looks that way. So now I gotta figure out how to get down there. Come on, man. Are you trying to hide? That's weak. Deserter right there. All right, let's uh, let's try to get down there. It's like my archers are getting killed. That's not good. That's why I wanted to retreat them, but apparently they don't listen to orders. But hopefully we have reinforcements coming because we are, I assume, losing men all, all along this, um, you know, little catwalk here as we move. Oh, did we win? Yeah, we won. They're cheering. Cool. Well, let me run inside uh, Winterfell so you guys can see it. I'm pretty sure they did model it after, like, the actual Winterfell. It, it sure looks like it. This looks a lot like the courtyard that we see in the in the uh, show. So cool. We've taken Winterfell. The north is now ours. Uh, wow, that was a lot of casualties. So on top of the roughly 20 that we took before, we, we lost 40 in total. Um, I think most of it was just like lower tier infantry though so I don't think it'll be that difficult to replace oh Lord Captain Victorian Greyjoy we freed him okay I guess we'll let him go even though he's technically our enemy and then um, let's see what do we got here any of these guys gonna be worth taking on probably not you know I will take some clansmen because they are fairly well armored the um, wildlings, not so much. Okay, what do we get here? Wow. You know what? No, forget that. Don't even bother. I am, of course, going to defer appointment. Actually, no. I'm going to take Winterfell for myself. Makes sense, right? I mean, we are going to be ruling the North as Lord Paramount, so obviously our base of power should be in Winterfell itself, and 
we did take it completely on our own, so of course I will claim it as my own. Alright, so let's go ahead and leave. We could move our court here, and that might be a good idea. <clears throat> Alright guys, so we're coming up on Bear Island here. This will be the final siege of this season. Um, let's take a look at our party. How are we doing? I'm all patched up. Oh, I leveled up too. Um, I'll have to take care of that in a second. Let's get everybody else upgraded. Hmm. Let's see. No, I want all Axemen. Titus is leveled up as well. We need more Pullmen. I don't think we're going to need any more Pikes for a while. With all the sieges going on, you know, we don't really need to prepare for cavalry charges quite the same. <clears throat> so let's see what the garrison size is here. Actually, I said I'd level my character up. Let's, um, let's go intelligence, and then I'll put those points into surgery, and hmm, that is difficult. I guess we'll go trainer and get some crossbow skill. God, I have a lot of weapon points accumulated. The problem is like all the skills I normally use are pretty much maxed out. So, yeah. I need to be like Weapon Master 10 to do anything at this point. So Bear Island, 160 men guarding it. This should be pretty easy. Alright, we'll go ahead and besiege the castle. And we got ladders again, awesome. Okay, so we are going to play as uh, Rook since he's all patched up. And this should be a little bit more straightforward than Winterfell was. Uh, I imagine the, the castle is not nearly as... Uh, complicated to get into as uh, it was there. Yeah, so it's pretty much just walk right in. I'm going to put the archers up on the high ground there and let them shoot a little bit and then uh, we will of course join our infantry in the charge. I don't know that I'm even going to bother with the uh, crossbow. Let's just get right in there. Excuse me. Yeah, I want to be on this side. Go, go, go. And stop. So Royman's already down. Ooh, so he clipped me with an arrow. In like the leg or something, too. Push through, push through, push through. Don't stop. You can get through there, man. Go. Oh, I'm gonna get stuck. Come on. Don't stop. Keep moving. I got it. Okay. Let's help our guys get in here. Come on, swing. Swing. Swing, damn you. There you go. I'm taking some damage here. Although my armor is doing a great job, I gotta say. I'm able to just pretty much stand there and swing at the enemy while they swing back. I don't really take a lot of punishment for it. And obviously, they, they certainly do. Yeah, see, I barely took any damage in that exchange. I wasn't even blocking. Ouch. The, the arrows are what really does damage to me. I gotta watch out for those. Ooh, okay. Yeah, see, he didn't even hurt me there. Zero damage. That was three. It's really not that big a deal. Alright, so we've cleared that. Our guys are pushing in that way. Let's see if we can't help them out a bit. Oh, excuse me. You didn't have to walk right into me. Ooh, headshot. I'll take it. I mean, I don't know that I'll be able to get through that giant mob, so I'm going to try this for a while. Got to aim higher. There we go. Oh, that hit him in the face and it didn't even kill him. Come on. Oh, they got reinforcements. What happened to my retina? I probably should have told them to follow me. I think most of them were injured, though. Okay, I got surrounded somehow. We pushed so far in that the enemy ended up taking the uh, entry point again. Gotcha. I shouldn't have backed off there. Gotcha. Anybody else? 
Nope, those are all raven trees. Okay. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Damn it. It'd be awesome if we could intercept them right there. Perfect. Yeah, push, push, push. Nice. So I'll be able to unload uh, crossbows into these guys' backs. Let's actually get the archers up here. They should be able to... Uh, if not put arrows on these guys, they should be able to put arrows on the enemy archers over there. It looks like we've got them surrounded, though. We're coming up behind them. Yeah, look at all that. Okay. Oh, I hit him. I'll take it. Come on, hold still. Damn it. Right when I shot, he moved. Well, I hit him. I just don't do much damage with this thing. Which is kind of surprising. It's one of the better crossbows you can get. And um, my crossbow skill is actually fairly high at this point. The archers have joined me. Looks like most of them are running out of ammo, though. Let's go, guys. Take out these archers. You know what? I'm going to go help them. Ouch. Should probably be a little bit more careful about that. But it, it seemed like the best way to do it. Get right into the thick of it. Come here, you. Alright. Somebody get him. Alright, well, I'll do it. And let's get rid of this guy up here. I like how he just stands there and lets me line up a headshot on him. Okay, so he's gone. Oh, who shot me? Oh, they did. Okay. I don't know if they'll be able to hit them with my sword. Okay. Let's try this. I, I have no idea. Yeah, swing that axe in there. Let's see what that does. Nice, nice. Get back in there. What are you doing? Don't run away. Well, this is going to suck. How many guys are in there? Nobody's going to help me? Okay. I don't know if I have enough ammo to deal with their shields. Let's try this. Nope, too high. Really? I, I don't trust this crosshair. Yeah, hit me. Swing at me. Okay. Not working. <laughs> Back to third person. Nobody is going to come down here and help. Okay, archers, right here. I have no idea what they're doing right now. They're all, like, stuck right there. I think enemies are stuck behind the other buildings, too. So we might have to back out and try this again. Got one more bolt. Well, two more after the one I picked up there. Damn it. Really? They're getting stuck in the, uh... Thing here. There we go. At least I got one of them. Okay. Do you have any ammo? No, none of you guys do. Alright. Screw it then. Um, let's see. Can I not pick that up? Okay, good. Yeah, fire whatever you got left in them. Good job, Garrett. Come on. Do it. Nice. That was the last one. Perfect. Okay, so that was pretty easy, actually, other than the guys stuck behind the walls there. Uh, we did take some losses. 14. That's not too bad. And the enemy was wiped out, of course. I got 31 kills to my name. Um, I don't really want any wildlings. We'll pass. And anything in the item pool, I guess we'll take it. Every little bit helps, right? And we will, of course, defer appointment because this belongs to the Manderleys. Uh, I'm not going to plunder it, no. Alright. So, that is it. That is the north under our control. Uh, at least all of the north that was held by the northerners. Um, of course, in the next season, as I've said, we are going to take back the rest of the north and the Riverlands as well, and we'll see how far we go beyond that.
But anyways, this is going to be it for this episode and for season one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Clash of Kings with you throughout this uh, this season. Um, I can't believe we got to, like, I don't remember what number this is, but like 30 plus episodes. And, you know, we've been doing one a week since this playthrough started. So it's obviously been going on for a pretty long time. Uh, I've really enjoyed all your different characters' backstories and getting to meet, you know, all the, the people that would eventually be joining our party. And uh, I look forward to seeing what else you guys can come up with in the next season. Um, obviously, there's going to be a lot more storylines being opened up now that we're sort of moving into um, Westeros at large. Or at least we will be. And uh, we'll be fighting a lot of different factions, whether it be, you know, the Westerlands, the Iron Islands. Um, you know, we might end up at war with the Reach. Who knows? We might try to take the Iron Throne for ourselves. But uh, obviously, we're going to try to secure the North first. Um, we'll have all of the loyal northerners at our backs rather than fighting solo like we've been. So we'll actually be able to, um, you know, issue commands and stuff and have people help us out. Which is something that we didn't have in this playthrough because of all the bugs that we ran into. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching yet again. And I uh, look forward to seeing you back here for Season 2.